How's it going everyone? Today we have the best down phones of 2023. I do this annual video where I recap the best down phones in my opinion and this time around we're gonna do it by price point. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna move ourselves all the way to the bottom. So um, one more thing before we get started. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing this video with your friends and all of the other videos I produce. I try to be as thorough as I can, but also, you know, give short videos so that it's not too time consuming. But essentially, we're going to go over the best dumb phones and don't forget to buy my book, which is now released on Amazon and on my website, links in the description below. So let us get started with the first dumb phone, which is the Punk MP02. We're going to start in the category of less than $400. So the first category is less than $400. And that is crazy, it sounds crazy, but the first device that we're gonna look at is the Punk MP02. The Punk MP02 is a very well-designed device and it costs about $379. But this device is, it feels good in the hand, it has good functionality, of course, calls, SMS, it works globally, and it does also have signal. So if you're looking for a dumb phone with signal, which is a very specific app, but some of you value the privacy, I think this device is very good. And now that the company has started to update it more, I definitely put it a little bit higher on the list. Now my second device, my second recommendation is a really nice flip phone from Japan, which is the 902KC or the 903KC. There are other devices, but this one does work in the United States with T-Mobile and has good compatibility also internationally. This device is very sleek, very nice looking, but my preferred thing is not only that it has a lot of features and you can also install applications like WhatsApp, Signal, uh, Spotify, things of that nature, but it's very well made and I really like the feeling in the hand and if you have seen my review which all of these devices have a review uh, you will know that it's one of my favorites but it is a little bit costly because it takes the import fees from Japan and unlocking it and things like that so it's at 375 but I think it's a well worth investment that you will not regret so 903 KC is the second device that I recommend Finally, in this less than $400, which is a little bit egregious to be honest, but if you're looking for a, special, a specialized device, this is the reality. This is not a dumb phone per se, but they make it like one. So this is the ghost phone. Uh, this is based on a Pixel 3. You can do this with any smartphone if you find guides on how to minimize it. And eventually I'll be publishing a live stream on how to do this yourself. But the guys at Ghost Phone, they do it for you. It costs about $299 or $359 for the Pro version, which is a Pixel 4. But they essentially ship you a smartphone with no app store and just the basics. Which, again, you can do yourself, but if you want somebody to do it, uh, these guys have built a good business out of it. So the next part of our list is less than $300, which is still a little bit of money, but these two devices that I'm going to share with you are excellent. First, my personal favorite and my daily driver, the Light Phone 2. The Light Phone 2 is the most improved device every year because the company is really behind it. They put out a lot of updates, essentially at least four or five updates throughout the year, if not more. And again, this device just keeps getting better and better. They just release a massive upgrade and they always listen to their customers. If you're looking to simplify your life, this device is the one at $299, or you can also find them used for $220, sometimes for $180 on the Reddit, so subreddit light phone, a shout out to the people in there, because they are selling their light phones or giving them after they have used them for a while, or they may move to a different device, they usually sell them there for a fraction of the price. But this phone comes pre-configured with only phone alarms, and settings and then you can add calendar directions podcast music i've made plenty of videos about this device my personal favorite and it works really well in the united states with different carriers so it's a little bit of a plus but it's not the only device of course we have a big list here and the next uh in the list for less than 300 dollars is the kyocera dura xv extreme plus the Extreme Plus is a revamp of the Xtreme, and I personally like this device because it's very rugged, very secure. Um, it will not break unless you're really, really mistreated. It does have USB-C. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you know they don't come by and in these uh, devices nowadays, and even some dumb phones don't have it. Like the one at 400 didn't have any of the ones that I mentioned. Uh, but this device is excellent. It works really well, and you can customize it. It does have a mouse to work all of the extra applications that you use. I personally enjoy it, and I think it's a great contender. Around $275, so you can also find them used if you want to go to the uh, cousin, which is the extreme, which is, so works really well. I recommend that one 
but that's in the next category that we're going to see, which takes us to our next category, which is less than $200. At less than $200, you start uh, getting a little bit of like niche devices, and sometimes you have to compromise a little bit of the experience, although there are still great, great contenders, which I'm going to talk about. The first one that I want to talk about for less than $200 is the Sunbeam F1. So the Sunbeam F1 is right here. It's a flip phone and it comes in three versions. One with call only, another one with call and text, another one with call, text, navigation, and uh, music, and you know a lot of extra features. It's $195, but the company is always upgrading it and also upgrading the hardware. So if you have a faulty unit, make sure to contact them because they are very good at customer service. In my experience, for $195, it's an excellent device. I think the only thing that is missing from this device to make it my daily driver is hotspot. Hopefully they will add that in the future. And of course you can find all the information about these phones and all of the other phones in the Dome Phone Finder, which will also be in the description below. Another two devices that I want to mention for less than $200, I don't have them in my hand because I have given them away to you guys, which I always do have the giveaways, is the Jelly 2 and the AGM M7. The Jelly 2 is a mini smartphone. It reduces your screen time because it's so small, but it works really well. It runs Android uh, 12, if I recall correctly, or Android 11, and it runs the full version so you can install pretty much any app. But because of its tiny screen, you're not going to be scrolling, you're not going to be watching a lot of content. The next one is the AGM M7 at $119 or so on Amazon, and of course you can find them used. It's a very good device, it allows you to install apps, but because of its low screen resolution and also the ruggedness is a little bit hefty, you may not be super inclined to use it all the time. But this is a very, very good device. Uh, it's a good phone and it works internationally, also in the United States. Finally, the Extreme Regular, not the Extreme Plus. It's essentially the cousin of the Extreme Plus, but it's at half the price at $150. You can find them renewed. You can also find them new for $200. It works extremely well and it's a very, very top contender. You can even find them unlocked to use them outside of the United States, even though it has, again, more limited functionality. But these devices are excellent devices for less than $200. And these are not the only ones because we're gonna get to 100 and also 250. But always remember to, and I always say, comment, like, and subscribe, uh, share this video with your friends, and I really appreciate all the support that I have always gotten. Let's go into the next part, which is less than $100. The best on post for less than $100. Uh, these also are excellent devices. They're not, you're not compromising on a lot. So let's get started with the most popular right now, which is the Cat S22 Flip. You may have seen it on a lot of posts on Reddit, and that's because of the price. You can find them as low as 60 or maybe even $55. And this device, the secret is that because of its screen, it's super small, because of its heftiness, and you know, it's not the most amazing device to use, you're going to reduce a lot of your screen time, but you get to keep a lot of the apps. So Spotify, uh, WhatsApp, Signal, a lot of the Android apps work because it's running Android 11 Go. The only thing missing, I would say, is Android Auto. So if you want that, go up to the Jelly 2. But if you don't, you know, if you don't mind for that, then this is an excellent device. I personally like it a lot and it has been my daily driver for work um, for about six months now. You know, I go back and forth with different devices for work, but this device has always come back because it's excellent at what it does. It reduces your screen time. It's very rugged, very nice. Um, it does have some issues. Clearly it got discounted from $275 to 59 to 60 bucks uh, because some devices may be faulty and of course make sure to reach out to customer service they're pretty good about it uh, with cat but again it's something to keep in mind uh, it works really great in t-mobile and if you get it unlocked you can make it work outside of the united states as well which amazon will import it for you for 60 dollars it's an excellent contender now we get to a device that has been discounted now for a while and this is the xiaomi f21 the Xiaomi F22 and the F22 Pro have come out, but personally, I still don't recommend them. The Xiaomi F22 Pro still has a large, large screen, and the Xiaomi F21 has the sleek body, it's very small, very pocketable, um, so I prefer it, and that's why I recommend it. Now you can find them at around $75 to $90 from AliExpress, or you can also customize them for the United States following the guides that have been posted on Reddit. Of course, there's a lot of controversy about the guides right now. Um, so be mindful of that, read up upon that. It's 
definitely your choice. Uh, but if you're internationally and you want to get this from China, uh, you have a touchscreen. You also can use the keypad. Works very well internationally. And if you customize it or if you buy an F30 here in the United States as well, I personally think it's an excellent device, better than the F22 and the uh, F22 Pro, in my personal opinion, because of the price and the feature ratio that you get uh, for the form factor. The final device of this category is the Nokia 2780 or 2780 from KaiOS. This device is a little bit more basic. It doesn't have all the apps, but it still has some apps like a podcast app, uh, like a notes app, like a weather app, but it doesn't have any extra distractions. It doesn't really run social media very well. So in my personal opinion, this device is a very, very strong contender uh, for your choosing. Personally, I think the Nokia 2780 is very good for people in the United States and also internationally. If you import it, you can make it work internationally. I've seen some Canadian and some uh, English folk uh, import it from Amazon and you can use it because the device is unlocked. It runs KaiOS 3.0, which is the best version of KaiOS so far. And it also receives very sparing updates but for the basic functionality and for $70, if you're looking for something simpler than an Android device, this is what you should be looking for. If you are in Europe, I also recommend the Doro devices. I reviewed the Doro 730, uh, but you can also get the 6680 or other devices. Those are very basic and they include WhatsApp, but they actually are good performers for international, especially for European uh, carriers. So now we get to the final part, which is less than $50. And we're going to start with the Nokia devices, Nokia 225, Nokia 110, Nokia 105. All of these devices are running a customized version called Thread X. These are very basic devices, but in my opinion, if you're looking for something very cheap and looking to just have phone calls, text messages, and the radio, I think this is your best bet. It's very simple. You're not messing with apps. You're not getting any compatibility. They're essentially true dumb phones that still work with 4G LTE. Nokia is not very responsive anymore. They're a shadow of their former past, but I think they still hold value if you're going very, very inexpensive. So the Nokia 225 is 49. You can even find it for like $30, but also you can go even lower for the Nokia 105 at 19 or 25, uh, 110 also between that oscillating and less than $50. So this is my first recommendation for less than 50 bucks. If you spend less than 50 bucks on a dumb phone, sometimes you are compromising, but not all the time. So it's kind of a balance you have to really find a good deal and what you're looking for. But personally, I think these devices are strong if you know what you're getting into. However, there are two more devices. I'm going to bring this red phone as a example because the 2760, which is the cousin of the 2780 right here, it looks ex exactly the same. The only difference, it doesn't have a micro SD card. This one costs $20 and for $20, you get a very good contender, KaiOS 3.0. Sadly, it mainly works in the United States, so not for international use. But essentially, it runs the same as the 2780 for a fraction of the cost. This one is $79. The Nokia 2760 is $19. So it's less of a risk, and you can make it work with TrackPhone. And after three months, you can unlock it to make it work with other networks in the United States. So definitely a worthy phone. And the Champ... For the less than $50, I actually give this device away, so I cannot showcase it to you except for the video that I'm showcasing right now, is the TCL Flip 2. The TCL Flip 2 is my favorite device, and for $20, or maybe a little bit more if you find them unlocked, it's an excellent device, top performer for $20. And as you see, it does have the ability to run WhatsApp, to run other applications. You have to do the customization yourself. That's a little bit of a bummer. But if you just want a very basic phone that is going to work, have good battery life, and not have many issues, the TCL Flip 2 is very, very hard to beat. I personally love that device. And I'm sad that I don't have to, to showcase it right here with you. But of course, I showcase it in the video and I do have a review about it. Excellent device, perfect usage for $20, that's the best that you can get. Of course, if you live in a different country, you can also find other devices that still work with 2G, maybe cheaper ones with eBay or things like that, but that depends on which country you live. If you're in the United States, of course, this is the list for you. This has been my list for 2023. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about this device, these devices that I have shown or any of the other devices that I 
have reviewed, make sure to put it in the comments below. I always interact with you guys. And as a final note, make sure to join the forum. So there is a new forum. I'm there most of my time now. Uh, instead of being on Reddit and on Discord, I'm still checking in from time to time, but I'm mostly on the forum because I want to move away from social platforms. But the forum is a different layout. We're going to be updating a lot of the documentation and have a lot of extra features. So if you want community, if you want to ask questions directly to me, the forum is the best way to get in touch. Thank you for watching the video again. Make sure to always look at your journey and not at the current moment. Look where you want to go and build a lifestyle that makes the most sense for you. Again, thanks for everything. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next video.